What is up team? Welcome back to the work method and welcome to day 12 of the transform program. We got a lower body workout in the books for today. Let's hop into our three minute AMRAP. We're gonna set three minutes on the clock. We're gonna do 10 Kozak squats. So feet wide, toes pointed out. You're gonna go over to one side and back up to center. Over to the other side and back up to center. Five each direction. From there, we're going 10 body weight good morning. So you're gonna go feet narrower together. Hands behind your head, shoulder back, uh, shoulder blades squeeze back and together, abs tight, and push your butt back towards the wall, keeping that low back nice and flat. Trying to loosen up those hamstrings, glutes, and a low back. And then we're going to 10 overhead squats. So hands in a wide position, feet shoulder width apart, nice and low. Keep those elbows locked out, shoulders reach towards the sky. Three minutes on the clock, you're gonna cycle through that as many rounds as you can, nice and easy. It is a warm up. Team. 10 seconds. We got 10 Kozak squats coming up. Feet wide, toes pointed out. Let that knee track over your toe. And from back to center. 10 total. And we got 10 body weight good mornings. Feet close together, hands behind your back, push those hips back. 10 reps. What's up, Jorge? Dropping to warm up. Three minutes. 10 reps on the good mornings. Then we're going 10 overhead squats. Feet shoulder width apart, hands in a wide position, nice and low. Try to keep those heels down and chest and shoulders up. Hands in a wide. And we're back to the top team. Kozaks, 10 reps. Feet wide, keep that opposite leg straight, get a nice stretch. Right back up the center. Back in your good morning is after the pose that. And overheads. Get nice and low in that overhead squat. Try to open up that chest. Get those knees and hips warmed up. Thirty seconds, team. Five seconds. Three, four, one, and rest, team. All right, guys, we got our first exercise. We got dumbbell front rack foot elevated reverse lunges. So if you have something to elevate your foot on, you can use it. If you can't get to knee to the ground regular lunge, reverse lunge, don't use any elevation. So. This is the prerequisite. You need to be able to lunge and let that knee kiss the ground and drive back up. Now, if you can do that, we're gonna put an elevation there. You can use a plate, you can use a couple books. I have a yoga block and we're gonna go front rack position. So, dumbbells are gonna be up on your shoulders, resting here. We're gonna go 45 seconds on the right leg. 25 seconds rest, 45 seconds on the left leg. 
and then a 45 second rest for three sets. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna be up on that elevated surface. I'm gonna go down nice and low. I'm gonna let that back knee kiss the ground. That foot elevated lets me get a little greater range of motion, should feel a little bit more in the glutes and hamstrings. And then I'm gonna drive up, stand up nice and tall at the top, back down, touch, drive. The front rack position is a lot harder. If you start to fatigue there and that gets too challenging, you can drop the dumbbells down to your side. Again, we're going a little bit longer interval than we did on week one. So we wanna to try to use either the same weight at least or try to bump yourself up a little bit. I'm gonna to try to go 30s on this and we'll see how it goes for all three sets. I think I only did 30 on the last set last time. But this is a five second longer interval than week one. Remember, track it in the app team. That way we know when we get back to it on week five, we'll be repeating it with a different interval, different number of sets. Seven seconds team, come on. Right for 45 seconds, two, and work. Abs tight. Nice and low, touch that knee, drive up. Come on, two, and rest, team, 25 seconds. Woo, switching legs. Same thing on that left leg. In 10, get ready to work, pick them up. Left leg, three, two, let's work. Come on. Two. Rest, team. Woo! I'm actually gonna get something a little wider for my foot. I'm gonna use a plate. But, like I said, you, can, uh, you guys can use a book, anything to elevate you. A little pool, whatever you got available or nothing at all. You should feel this in your core, upper back, and of course the legs. We got round two coming up in 10. Right leg again, team. Let's get ready, five, three, two, one, and work. Come on. Three, one, rest. Whew. 25 team, walk it off. Think about bracing those abs before every rep, fighting those shoulders and that chest up. Don't let yourself collapse. If you start collapsing, drop the dumbbells to your side. Three, two, left leg, same thing. 
Hammer. Come on. One. Rest, team. Woo! All right. I'm going to try to hang on. This is tough, though. That's a full body move right there. How are we doing, team? Good? Deep breath. We got one more set. Then we got a nice two minute break coming up after that. We're into our second straight set. Only two today, actually, of these straight sets. We're gonna have a little quads, a little glutes. Although this one's both. 10 seconds, team. Come on, let's pick them up. Let's get work. In three, two, one, let's go. Right leg, same thing. Chest up, drive. Come on. Two, one. Rest, team. Work till that buzzer, team. Come on. Deep breath. We got our final uh, set on the left leg. Three, one. Let's work. Left leg, come on. Nice and low. Chest up. Come on. Nice and controlled down. Drive through that heel. Two, one, rest team. Woo! All right. We've got two minutes on the clock. Let's get into our second exercise here. All right, team. You don't need the plate or the wedge anymore or the elevated surface. Get that out of there. So, we got the exact same format though. Right leg, left leg. 45 seconds on the right leg, 25 seconds rest, 45 seconds on the left leg. We're doing a split stance deadlift. So you're gonna take two dumbbells, shoulders back and together, nice good posture. Right foot is forward, back foot is right behind you up on the tippy toe, slight bend in that right leg. 90% of your weight is on this forward right leg. You're gonna push your hips back towards the wall behind you. Think about loading up this hamstring and glute and then driving up nice and slow down. You wanna keep the low back nice and flat. Now we're gonna switch legs and do the exact same thing on the other side. A big focus is on keeping those dumbbells close to the leg. So we don't wanna let them get out here. We're trying to let them ride down the side of this front leg, drive up. The more we can keep the weight over our center of gravity, the stronger we'll be, the less strain you'll put on your low back. So you wanna keep that back neutral. Depending on your hamstring flexibility, 
will dictate how low you're able to go. Those of you with tighter hamstrings won't be able to go that low. You may be able to go to here. Some use that are more flexible. You can go to here. We don't want to let the back round though. So keep that low back neutral, abs tight. I'm going to try to go with a 40s, two 40s. Pick a weight that's challenging for you. Put your upper down. Five. Three. One. Let's work. Right leg, team. Abs tight. Forty-five seconds. Keep your head neutral. Three, two, one. Rest, team. Same thing on the left leg. In 15. Same thing on the left leg. Five, three, two, and work. seconds. One. And rest. Woo! 45 seconds rest. All right, this is becoming a little bit of a factor. I'm gonna throw some straps on. If you're using the heavy weight, Using the strap can be beneficial because we can kind of not allow our limitations to be our grip. And it can then be our limitation to be our legs. Our limitation can then be our legs. So only use straps if your grip's starting to you feel like you're focusing more on that than the actual deadlift. 12 seconds, we're back on the right leg. Come on. Pick them up in five. Right leg, two, one, and work. Shoulders back and together. Come on, 10 seconds. I just want to feel alive. Two, one, pass. Woo! 25 seconds, left leg coming up. Walk it off. Eight seconds. Pick it up. In three. One. Left leg. You're gonna work. Drive through that left leg. That's your tension. Push the ground away. I just wanna feel alive more. Two, 
one. All right, I'm going 50s on the last. Try to get a little more challenging here. 30 seconds. Got our final set. Mike is pushing me to do these. He's saying he did 55. Is that Mike? All right. Come on, team. 15 seconds. Final set. Keep your form on point. I'd rather have better form and better quality than more reps. Are in six. Three, two, one, and work. Right leg, forward. Flexibility, get deep in these. It's like a loaded stretch on that hamstring. Come on. Two, one, rest. Woo. More set, team on the left leg. We got a nice break and we're going into a nine minute imam. In eight. Pick them up, three. Left, left, and work. which is a nine minute EMA. All right, team, so this circuit, if you have a bench, we're gonna use it. A bench, a bot, a chair, a stool, anything to up onto. So I'm gonna go with my box, I got a 24 box, but you guys can use the bench, like I said. So we were doing the EMOM. So EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. We have a nine minute EMOM. And we're gonna try to do more reps in that minute than we did in the first week. So, in the first minute, we're gonna do 12 goblet squats. Your only rest is the remainder of that minute after you finish those reps. So, goblet squats look like this. Dumbbell here, feet shoulder width apart. Keep that dumbbell close to the body, elbows in tight, nice and low, squat, drive up. Think about bracing your abs, think about pushing the knees out in line with your toes. I like to let my elbow touch my inner thigh. That's kind of my gauge for depth. That's the first move. In the second minute, we're doing 12 alternating dumbbell step ups. This is where you're gonna need a box or a bench. So you're gonna plant your left heel. You're gonna drive up, leave that foot up there nice and slow. And you're gonna switch feet on the ground. By using a higher box or bench, it makes it harder. You can use a lower box. You can elevate your box with some more books or something if you want it a little higher. I'm gonna go lighter because it's higher. I'm gonna go with 20s there. On that goblet squat, I'm gonna do a 60 pound dumbbell. In the final movement, you're gonna need a booty band if you have one or a really small dumbbell. So. There's my booty band. Sorry guys. So, little loop band. You can use the TheraBand. We're gonna throw it around the knees right above the kneecaps, like so. If you don't have this, you can use a really small dumbbell and hook it in the crook of your knee. We're gonna do 60 seconds of alternating kickbacks. 
Actually, so we're gonna do it from a standing position. We're gonna mix it up this week. So you're gonna lean over on something, you're gonna kick back and then back, alternating every rep. So I'm keeping a slight bend in my knees. I'm leaned over at the hips. You can lean over on the couch, bench, whatever you have available and drive back. Back and you're trying to squeeze your glute. That's what you're trying to make drive back with a slight bend in the knee. Any questions team? If you don't have the box to do the step ups on, yeah, Steve, you can't. Okay, hold on one second. Ooh, good call. So if you're gonna do it with a dumbbell, you probably have to switch at 30. I would hold it here and you can bend over and just drive up like this. Good call though, Steve. I, I pulled an audible on the fly and didn't think about all the uh, alternatives. So I'll remind you guys when it's 30 seconds and you can switch legs if you're doing it with a dumbbell. So it's 30 and 30. That's actually a pretty good squeeze. I almost got a hamstring. All right, two seconds team. We got goblet squats coming up. Thanks. Two. One. Twelve. Oh. Abs tight. Nice and low. Drive. Three seconds rest or finish to finish out your only rest once you finish 12. Now we got 12 alternating step ups. If you don't have a bench, you can do forward lunges alternating. Seven seconds. Let's go. Two and work. 12 reps, six each leg. Try not to jump off the bottom leg. I'm gonna cut us at 10 and rest team. Throw your band on or get your uh, dumbbell. One and work. Alternating. I'm gonna tell you guys at 30. You can even drop that band a little lower with this variation if you wanna make it a little harder. You can drop it below the knees if you need to. Try to feel it in that glute. We're gonna switch legs if you're using a dumbbell. In five. Two, switch legs, team. If you're doing a dumbbell. Keep that tension on the band. Come straight back. And then we go straight back into goblet squat. There's no rest. We're getting a little glute pump. I'm going right into it. 10 seconds, those glutes should be on fire. Keep that leg pretty much straight and reach with the butt. Three, two, one, 12 squats. Round two of three here. Oh. Woo. Alternating step ups. More lunges. Try to shift that weight forward. 
Get that knee over the toe and then push through that leg. Three. On. And work. 12 reps. Seconds. I'm gonna cut us at 10 in two, one. Grab your band, get ready for kickbacks. You can put it below the knee if you want more tension on the calf. Come on, alternate. Go straight back, squeeze that glute. Keep your leg pretty much locked out on the leg that's going back. We're switching legs. We're using a dumbbell in five, three, one, switch. Twenty seconds. Seven, three, one. The squat team. Final round. Goblet squats. Let's get it. The glute should be lit up. You should feel it when you're hitting these squats. Twelve rep. Seconds team step up. I'm gonna code 25s here. I look here. Challenge myself. Four, two, and it works. Drive, control that weight on the way down. Kickbacks in 18, cut it there. Three, two, one, work. Switching legs if you're doing dumbbells in 10. Switch. Twenty seconds, team, come on. Come on. Squeeze those glutes in 10.
three, two, one. Rest. Woo! All right, team. Two minutes rest and we're going into our final burnout circuit. You guys know the deal by now, if you've been here. All right, so. We have an eight minute EMOM, but a little different format. Every minute for those eight minutes is gonna start with a max air squat. So we're gonna do as many as we can of body weight squats. Let me just clear this out of the way. We don't need a weight. Now in the odd minutes, the first minute, after you fatigue, you're going into high knees. So we're gonna burn out with air squats first, as low as you can, and I want like a pumping fashion. I don't want anybody coming up to the top, kind of hanging out their arms, and going to another one and sitting here. It's this, it's a piston up and down. No pause at the top, because we're gonna try to burn out those legs. I don't want you just squatting all day. So, that's the start of every minute. After you fatigue and you feel like you can't take that burn anymore, or the legs can't move, the odd minutes, we're going high knees in place. So you're trying to get those knees up above parallel. So here, lean back a little bit and move those arms with it. Now on the even minutes, the remainder of the time, you're gonna do a lower body bicycle after you finish the max air squats. So you're gonna lean back, hands here. You're gonna bring one leg in tight, lean back so you can get some work on that core, and then just alternate back and forth, just the lower body. Trying to drive that knee towards your chest. Any questions, team? You can, of course, modify the high knees to something lower if you don't want the plyometric. You can get a little jog in place. It's just supposed to be burn out. It's supposed to burn out the legs, hit some cardio, hit some abs, and kill it. 10 seconds, team. First set, max air squats, and then high knees after you fail. Right, can't take it anymore, too. Piston style, team, go. Boom. And you feel like you need to stop, you're going to that other movement. Not even locking out almost, you're just coming short of lockout. Nice and low, don't cut your reps short. Come on, 20 seconds team, go to high knees if you see. All right, I'm going. Six seconds, we're back to squat. Two, one, back to max air squats. Should burn out a lot faster this time. Especially if you're doing the piston version and not a pause version. Oh. oh, all right. Woo! 40 seconds. Take your time, nice and slow. If the low back starts to hurt, you can sit up. Take a little rest and you can make your kick short. Ideally, you want to lock out. Rep. Come on. And working those hip flexors too. The legs never really get a break in this circuit. Totally. Ten seconds. Woo. Five, three, two, one. Back to squat, scene. Never lock out at the top, no lockouts. You're just stopping short of lockout. Boom, keep that tension. Bounce. Ah. Oh, come on. Twenty seconds. Seven. 
Two. One, back to squats. Seconds, see. Half through it. Ten, seven, five, woo. three, two, one. Back to squat, team. Halfway. Get those knees up. Try to engage that core, hip flexors, everything, arms. 17 seconds. Five, three, one, squat. Oh. Blown up. Bicycles. Come on. 30 seconds, team. Feel that core working back. Let those hands just balance you. Oh. Fifteen, ten. Oh, abs are toasty. Three, two, one. Watch two more rounds, team. Come on, do what you can. This is that grind time, baby? Let's go. Breaks are okay, try to get up. Four, two, Watson, bicycles, last round team. Come on, 30 seconds, team. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Come on. Seven. Oh. 
Three, two, one, and done, team. Woo! Oh, that hurt. Awesome work, guys. Day 12 of the Transform program is in the books. Thank you guys for joining in. We'll be back tomorrow with another upper body workout. Hope to see you guys there. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.